So, a few days ago, I bought these little fairy light things from Ikea to spice up my living room. When I was watching movies, it was a little too dark. But the problem is that they run on AA batteries. And you know, these don't last very long, maybe like five to six hours. And it's a hassle to keep replacing them. So I came up with a solution and here is it. So these are little battery replacement things uh, that you know you can find online like Amazon, eBay. So I went to my local uh, retailer, e-tailer, and found this. So this one is rated for 4.5 volts and 1.2 amps, if you can read uh, this one. So 4.5 volts and the amperage doesn't really matter. So uh, as long as it's above, it'll be enough power for the light itself. Okay, so how these work, right? It's very simple. You just take off your, you just take off your batteries, and then, oops, hang on. Insert the two dummy batteries, uh, wherever you prefer. Okay, and you, so this thing will replace the batteries, the, the voltage and everything is already um, oops. It's already uh, transformed, I don't know, stepped down because USB is already 5 volt, right? It's 5 volts so this little adapter here will step it down to 4.5 volts to match uh, the rated power, the rated voltage that's required to run these fairy lights so that's it, you just plug the two dummies in and this little thing goes into uh, your wall socket or USB power bank. You don't have to change your batteries. It's much more uh, efficient and you don't have to waste batteries, no recycle, uh, no e-waste. So yeah, we can turn on these lights. All right, I've installed the fairy lights. All right, okay. Around the stuff in my living room and uh, these two little uh, iPhone adapter things. So now that so you can see that's off, right? It's not. And when I switch it on, it turns on. No batteries required. So much better. And so much easier because you don't have to go down to the little switch thingy and turn it on and off. Just go here, bam, everything is turned on. That was a pretty awesome hack, but we can always do better, okay? So since these things are powered by the socket things, your wall socket, <laughs> um, you can go to Ikea or wherever that sells those smart sockets, you know, those smart home sockets that you can turn on and off with your phone, and you can do something like a motion sensor where if you walk out of your living room or you know if you're just sitting on a couch you want to turn on your light you can just turn it on with your phone and it is so much more convenient to like just com compared to just walking there and turn it on so let's head over to IKEA and buy their smart home accessories Okay, so now the whole system is set up. Here's the little IKEA remote. You can turn the lights on. 
sorry, on, and you can turn the lights off using the little IKEA remote. So what we have here is the thread-free um, gateway and the smart power outlet, this one. So as you can see, the motion sensor is over there. If I walk over, it turns on. Very simple, it was very cheap. I think this set costs around uh, 60 to 70, if not, you know, 70 to 80 uh, SGD. And um, yeah, it's very convenient. I put the switch over there so you can turn it on and off manually as well. That's how you can configure your smart fairy lights. Alright, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Please subscribe to this video.